and today is going to be a little bit a uh, bit different from what you normally see on your screen normally i shoot indoors so today we decided to come so i don't even know the name of this place but all i know is we're going to talk about the canon 85 mil which i mean it's a full frame lens so if you pay it on a crop sensor like what i'm doing now it becomes something else we're going to talk about the lens how it works on the full frame camera and the crop sensor camera as well let's just get straight into the intro So for some good reasons, is this even a good reason or bad reasons? I just can't figure out when this lens was released. I've tried my best and I simply don't know. But I know you guys watching it probably know when this lens was released. I'm thinking it should be that 2017. I mean 2017 or more than that. Because USM lenses were released, I mean, some time ago. And I don't even think Kenan still releases USM lenses to date. But... Once again, I stand to be corrected. So yeah, um, we're talking about 85 mil, and well, like I said earlier, this is a lens that was made for full frame bodies. So if you are someone that is rolling on the Canon 5D, 6D, Canon R, RP, is RP full frame? Yeah, I think it's, it is, it is. So those cameras, I mean, those lineups, this is the perfect lens to roll with and i'm not saying canon r you just get the lens and then put it on obviously you're going to need an adapter to pair this lens with and so far with my testing i mean i've got this lens not so long ago i've had other 85 mils but not this exact one you do get a couple of 85 mil i think we do have the sigma version and we do have this one and there's also a different types of them we got the f 1.4 f 1.2 i guess and this is the f 1.8 so it's quite a bit old but so far with my testing i think it does the job it does an amazing job i'm about to take a few sample images with this body right here this is the canon 70d it's a crop sensor camera not a full frame by any means so i think with the crop sensor camera if you pair this lens on it you will probably get in somewhere 135 if I'm, I think I stand to be corrected, so that's like 85 times 1.6 because Canon normally crops in 1.6. Some are 1.5, so it all depends on what, what camera you are on. So I'm going to take a few sample images and then you guys will judge. Um, I think so far, this lens on this body will act more like a telephoto lens. Yeah, it's actually not going to be as you pay to, I mean, with a full frame. So here we're getting a telephoto angle when you pair this lens with this as that camera but i also try to see if i'll be able to put the same lens on my lumex which i'm currently using to shoot myself which is a full frame so i'll try and use the same lens on that and see how it also performs on that camera <laughs> F stop need a sense is here. About three points. Stop it down. Okay. You want four? No, it's here. I mean, oh, okay. We need the ND. No, you don't. You last forget it, buddy. Um, but if you forget about it, you can't go on it. Yeah, but we, we bump up the everything. Yeah, but we bump here now, so I remember such a has been now. So let's just I put there. This, this, this picture, this no video, so it will work. But one say, we bump here now, and I say, oh, she can cry, it's up, it's, 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 it's affected. No, 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 no. Okay, let's see. It goes lower, that's where it goes. Maybe I'll come here, but let's see. Or something like that. Yeah. I want you to like shoot it wide open, 1.8. Yeah. Go 1.8, let's see. Yeah, I just want you to go on the max. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you pee, I'm okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, I think we should be good. They're trying to tell me, I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to disappoint you.
Yeah, full close. You can go full and then you can go close. Is that full or close? So which one is this one now? Okay. Food, yeah, I think I must hide this thing here. Yeah, Yanko. So where are we going? Is it full or you need to let me know so I can Okay, then let me try and come this side. I think you need to step in a bit. Yeah, then you, you take it from this angle. Another tight. So, yeah, wide, last wide or so. Maybe a walking pose, and yeah. Have you got enough? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, you, you missed focus. Okay, this is nice. This is nice. Maybe five does magic, eh? Uh, no, let me see my mentor. <laughs> you see, uh, the f come back. When you're shooting an image, you should try to give it yeah, a bit of headroom. Yeah, yeah it's, it was very, very. At least uh, this one was better, better. But things say uh, close up ones, you know. Wide, no. Yeah, wide, wide ones, you know. You, you, it was very, very tight to my face. Let's try another sitting one. I think you have to bend. A, a bit down. You start my stretching, okay, cool. Very cool. Maybe I think that should be good. Yeah. This is nice. The sitting down one was cool. So yes, as you guys can see the sample images, everything came out smoothly and it's quite surprising because I mean, you wouldn't expect such an old lens to perform this good. I think it all depends on the type of camera that you used with this lens. So, so far, we just used the 70D and this is a crop sensor, like I mentioned. And it's even an old DSLR. But the type of quality that you get when you pair with this lens is just amazing. I like the fact that it's actually blows the background enough and it separates the background from the subject so which i mean i pretty much like and i think this lens will more suits i mean someone who is more into portrait photography i mean if you are someone who shoots more of a studio type of photography this lens will do a very good job at it and if you also happen to shoot commercials or interview work i think it can also perform well especially if you need a closer um angle not like a wide angle but in case you need like a closer b cam this lens is definitely going to do an amazing job and not to forget it also performs well when it comes to the auto focusing i mean it's 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 a usm um, lens so obviously i think it's ultrasonic moto yeah so it does very well i wouldn't say that it is faster than the new models i mean the rf systems no no not even a chance but it does the job very well especially when you use the canon bodies but i think if you adapt it with other cameras as well you might have a bit of a delay in terms of the autofocus system which I know on the Lumex, the autofocus is definitely not going to work at all. But 
I will try before we end this video. I also try to pair the lens with the Lumex. I always suggest that anytime you're using it, you should maybe get some NDs on it because f1.8 it's a bit, I mean, it's 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 got a good um, low light performance, so sometimes you need to pair it with ND, especially when there's bright lights like this, to be able to get the maximum aperture of 1.8. So, overall, I love it belt quality not too heavy not too light it's not really heavy i think it's more like the 50 mil f1.2 but a little bit taller than that yeah and the look is almost the same as the 50 mil just a little differences here and there it doesn't have any is that might be a downside to some of the people so always ensure that your camera does have an in-body image stabilization other than that you're going to get a bit of shaky footages so autofocus button that is the only thing on the lens another thing that i noticed during my test is that the the ring on the lens is a bit stiff all right so when you are using the lens and or whenever it's on the camera and you want to focus on the ring i mean this particular ring here it's a bit stiff compared to some of the lenses that i've owned in the past so with this one you need to put in a bit of effort you need to like you need to put in some effort it's a bit tight so that's something that you need to put into consideration i'm not sure maybe because this one is a bit outdated because this particular unit it's a bit old so yeah if you have more questions with regards to this particular lens do not hesitate drop it in the comment section once again i'll leave the sample images of the one that i'll shoot with a full frame lumex s1 camera so you guys can tell me how it looks Maybe I'll change this shirt as well. I think a couple of days ago, I also made a poll on YouTube asking you guys to identify the aperture that the lens is. So a lot of people were actually wrong because I stated that uh, the 85 is an f1.2 and f1.4 and f1.8. And a lot of people actually happened to choose um, f1.4. But actually the 85 mil USM is uh, f1.8. So yeah i think majority of the people that actually chose f1.4 got it wrong so yeah but either way it's all fun i actually love the fact that a lot of people were unable to identify the right aperture but either way thanks for passing by i will see you guys in the next one and do not forget subscribe i'll see you in another video